Hi, my name is Charles Kaplan. I'm a professor at the State University of New York at Old Westbury. Uh, this video uh, works out a, a normal distribution problem, the type of problem that you run into in a basic probability and stats course or in a mathematical statistics course. So let's get right to it. Uh, the amount of money requested on loan applications at a bank is normally distributed with a mean of $400,000 and a standard deviation of 120000 An hour ago, a loan application is received by the bank. What's the probability that... And let's look at Part A. What's the probability that the loan application will be for more than $500,000? Well, the first thing I have my students do is write down what the mean and the standard deviation are. In this case, it's $400,000 and $120,000, and then I have them draw a picture. So here's the picture. You'll see that I'm not a very good artist. This is supposed to be the normal distribution. The mean is $400,000, and we're interested in the uh, region greater than $500,000. So remember to always draw a picture and always shade the region in which you're interested. So in order to solve this problem, we're going to transform this into the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution has a mean of 0 and a variance of 1. And there's an equation for the transformation. It's z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. Let's do that math now. So this is the x value in which we're interested. The 500,000, mu is 400,000, and we're dividing by 120,000. It's equal to 100 over 120, and therefore z is equal to... I believe that's 0.83. So this z value is 0.83. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our textbook and we're going to look up what the area is associated with 0.83. But the area this particular table gives us is this area from 400 to 500,000. So I know you can't probably can't see this, but we're going to go down the side underneath Z to where it says 0.8, and then we're going over to the column that says 0.03, and we see that that value, that area, is 0.2967. So let's write that in here, 0.2967. That doesn't give us this area, though. The total area under the normal curve is 1.0. It's 1. The total area to the right of the mean is 0.5, and the total area to the left of the mean is 0.5. We're interested, then, in subtracting this area from 400 to 500 from 0.5, and that'll leave us with this area in the right-hand tail. So let's do that. 0.5 minus 0.2967 and that is equal to 0.2033 so this area is 0.2033 that's as doesn't get much easier than that folks we first calculated a z value associated with 500 that turned out to be 0.83 we looked up in the table the area from 400 to 500 associated with 0.83 and found it to be 0.2967 we subtracted that from 0.5 since the total area to the right of the mean is 0.5 and we came up with 0 0.2033. Well, that's what the area to the right of 500 is. Okay, let's look at part B in this problem. What's the probability 
uh, that the loan will be for an amount between 450000 and 500000 So again, we want to write out mu is equal to 400000 Sigma is equal to 120,000. We're going to draw another picture. And we're going to put in 400 here. 450. 500. And I wouldn't worry about how pretty your picture is, and I wouldn't worry about proportions. Just get it in there and this is the area in which we're interested and that's really the important part is shading in the correct area we're going to make another transformation to the z distribution so the mean is zero let's uh... we already know that the z value associated with five hundred is point eight three so now we need to find a z value associated with four hundred fifty thousand let's do that now z is equal to x minus mu over sigma and that's uh... four hundred and fifty minus four hundred over one twenty is 50 over 120 and I believe that if you work out that division it'll come to 0.42 so let's get that in here okay so now we need to find an area associated with 0.42 and if you go down the table I believe it'll turn out to be point one six two eight but let's just double check that so point four we are down the Z column to point four and we go over to zero point zero two and we see that indeed it's point one six two eight so let's uh, let's make a notation of that so this is point one six two eight and we know that the area from four hundred to five hundred is uh... point two nine six seven we got that in the last problem so in order to find this area we're going to take this larger area point two nine six seven and from it we're going to subtract off this smaller area from 400 to 450 which is point one six two eight so let's do that now zero point two nine six seven minus zero point one six two eight is equal to zero point one three three nine so this area is zero point one three three nine so once again the way we handled this we took this larger area from four hundred to five hundred and we subtracted off the smaller area from four hundred to four fifty and that gave us our shaded region I have a part C to this problem I'm going to I'm going to put that on a separate video. For now, this is Charles Kaplan. I'm a professor at the State University of New York at Old Westbury. If you find this video helpful and you enjoyed it a little bit, I'd appreciate you writing in some nice comments. In the meantime, I wish you all good health and good happiness. And there should be about another six or seven videos up on the normal distribution, same type problems and you should find them interesting. Uh, that's it. Bye-bye.